feeling a little stressed out? Well, it's time to step back and give your eyes a well-needed break. I'm Jan Howe from YouMakeItSimple.com and do I have the perfect solution for you? These DIY lavender eye pillows are a, such a fun, quick, 10 minute and under project to sew up. A project that even a beginner seamstress can handle. There's an outer slip cover that you can remove, the inner bag, so you can wash it when you need to. So this eye pillow really doesn't call for a lot of materials and supplies. You will need for the inner cover, the inner bag, just a piece of muslin, or I am using, this is just a recycled pillowcase for the inner lining. And for the outer lining, you want to use something that's soft. There's a lot of different options. I like, one of my favorite things to use is a piece of flannel. Or you can use a woven fabric of any kind. And silky fabrics are nice. They're just a little bit more challenging to work with, but if you have a piece of silky fabric, they are really nice and soft to the eye and face. You can also, of course, use an upcycled t-shirt. T-shirt fabric is really cozy. You can use that for the inner bag and the outer bag. A rotary cutter if you have one and a ruler not necessary, but they do come in handy. Straight pins, a pair of scissors, and an iron, an ironing board. You'll also need something to fill the eye pillow with. I have, I have four recommendations. This is flaxseed. I, that's one of my favorites. It doesn't smell when you heat, if you heat it up. There's millet, buckwheat, or just plain rice. And you'll also, if you want to add a yummy aroma, you can add a quarter cup of dried lavender buds, which lasts for a very long time and really adds a lot of goodness and relaxation to your eye pillow. You'll also need just a couple pieces of tape and a scratch piece of paper. You'll also need a sewing machine. You can sew this by hand gather up your things and let's get started. So I've cut out the inner bag nine by nine inches and the outer bag 20 and a half inches by five inches. If you don't have a piece long enough, you can put two pieces together five by 10 and a quarter inches and just sew down this seam and then open it up and you'll have a piece big enough. So the first thing that we'll do is fold that nine by nine piece of fabric in half, line up your edges, and we're going to make a little bag for the filling, leaving one of the ends open. So I'm going to sew down here and then down the long edge, back stitching at the beginning and the end of your seam. So I've sewn my seam. I'm going to clip that corner and this inner corner and turn it right side out. And just poke it with your fingers. Set that aside and we're going to make a little funnel out of a paper piece of paper and tape to fill the bag. So to make the funnel, just taking a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and taking a corner and folding it under so it makes a point like a little hat, like a paper hat. And you don't want the end to be too small, just about like that. And take a piece of tape doesn't have to be fancy. We are just 
using it to fill this eye pillow. So you have like a cone with that opening there. And we're just gonna shove that point down in there and just carefully dump in. your flax seeds. Now if you are adding the dried lavender, you can add that now. And it's just a quarter cup. So it will fill about half of the bag. That's when you, if you'll, you know you have enough just half the bag. We don't want to fill it all the way full because then it won't um, conform to your face. It'll be too tight. Next, we're going to just fold it under about a half an inch. Just even that up. And you can give it a quick press if you want. either pin it or clamp it in place. We're just going to take it to the sewing machine, top stitch with the single needle, just right across the edge, back stitching at the beginning and end of the seam. Clip your threads. that aside and we'll work on the slip cover now. With the right side facing down, we're going to fold the ends, the short ends, under a quarter inch and press and then fold it another quarter inch and press. Pin that in place. Flip it over and do the same thing on this end. Take it to the sewing machine and just stitch those, top stitch those in place. the right side up and fold the left edge one and a half inches over. Pin that in place. Then take the other, the right side, and fold it up just about to the end, about a quarter inch from the end. And then we're going to pin both layers together. This is where we're creating the opening where we can put the bag in. We're just going to take it to the sewing machine and sew down the sides, back stitching at the beginning and the end of the seam. If you are using a serger, I'm going to show you, you, you can just use a serger and sew down the ends. If you are going to add a label, this is the place to do it. Just fold the label in half with the folded part on the inside and the raw edges are going to be on the outside edge, hanging off a little bit to make sure that we catch that. I'm bringing it all the way to the folded edge, bugging the face around the eyes or the nose. Pin that in place and you'll just incorporate that into your seam.
So when you use a serger, instead of having those tails sticking out the end, I'm going to show you a trick that you can do to keep those thread tails tucked in. So just start sewing. When you come in after like about a half inch, lift up your presser foot, grab the tail and bring it back underneath the presser foot so that you're, when you sew, you'll, it'll catch that. And then when you get down to the end, instead of having a tail down here and having it a, a chance of it um, coming undone, I'll show you how to anchor that in. Sew off a few stitches and turn your wheel Lift up your presser foot, flip your piece of fabric upside down and come to the edge where, you, where the thread is going down into the machine. Come to that edge and put your presser foot back down and just sew. Try not to cut too much, try not to cut the previous seam and then just So there you have that end that's tucked around and it won't come undone and this edge has been tucked in. I'll show you again on this other side. And come down about an inch, lift up your presser foot, take your tail, pull it around. maybe one or two stitches, lift up your presser foot, flip your fabric around, tuck it back in right to the edge, put your presser foot back down. And you have that nice without the tail. Of course, we'll clip this off. Let's turn it inside out. Poke your edges out. Take your scissors and just gently poke out the corners, making sure not to poke through your fabric. There's your flap. So you can take this off and wash it. You can wash the outer bag, but do not wash the inner bag. You don't want to wash your rice or your flax seeds. That's what's so wonderful about these slip covers. Let's just give it a good press. Now we can put our bag in. I like to let my rice or the flax seeds drop down to the bottom of the bag that makes it a little easier to put in. Even that out. Pull your flap over. Ah, loving the smell of this. That lavender would smell so good. So after a while, the lavender will start smelling but all you have to do is take your bag and just give it a good crunch, crunch up your the contents inside and your lavender will be activated and it will smell. These last for years, the smell lasts for years. So there you have it. Your own DIY lavender eye pillow, yummy smelling. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Be sure to download the free pattern in the description below and we'll see you next time.